Man takes out his belt and binds the girl's hands in front of his friends. The smiles of the others made her realize the seriousness of the problem. She began to cry out for help, but in the forest, the girl's cries for help are useless. She makes the other men even more excited. A couple came to the woods at night. What Mary didn't expect was that her boyfriend had caught three of his friends. Mary pulled a bottle of wine from her bag to ease the awkwardness. All the other men drank it down, but the boyfriend didn't drink because it had to drive tonight. Then the boyfriend took off his belt. He tied Mary's hands in front of the others. His behavior made Mary realize the seriousness of the problem. She rushed to cry out for help, but in the grove, no one would hear Mary's plea for help. Instead, she made the people there more excited. Meanwhile, her one day to old boyfriend revealed their ultimate goal. He told a scared Mary that the four of them were going to hunt her. The boyfriend gave Mary five minutes to run away. Mary escaped as soon as she heard that. She quickly went to a deserted place, took off her high heels and put her hair in a ponytail. The look of fear on her face disappeared. Mary was actually a trained killer who took out evil villains. This time Mary was targeting for men. They always take single women to the woods in the name of a game and hunt them down like animals. This girl in the white dress was their 20th victim. To get rid of them, Mary dressed up as an innocent girl and managed to attract one of the men. A couple came to the woods on their first day of meeting, but the man called his three friends without Mary's knowledge. Then he took out his belt and tied her up on the spot. Mary was so calm that she seized the opportunity and fled the scene. The man didn't realize that Mary was actually a killer. A man came after her with an axe, and suddenly the panda man appeared in front of him. The one thing he feared the most, the wine Mary gave them contained a hallucinogenic drug. When the drug kicks in, they see things they fear deep inside. At this point, the man's legs go weak. The girl picks up an axe and quickly kills the man. Soon after, another man comes along. He was surrounded by imaginary men in black. The man in black is the nightmare of his childhood, and the man is very scared. Mary took this opportunity to knock the man to the ground. Then she picked up a rock and slammed it down on him. A third man came along. He has nothing to fear, but is still knocked to the ground. By Mary and is soon killed. Meanwhile, the last man soon found the body of his companion. Immediately after that, he saw another body. He realizes that Mary is no ordinary woman. He knows the forest well and soon finds Mary. The man was about to attack the girl, but he was hit by the girl's feast. Then she kicked the man, and Mary took the opportunity to strangle him. The girl didn't let go even though he struggled. The man soon passed out on the floor. Mary picked up a nearby wine pot and poured wine containing hallucinogens into the man's mouth. When the man woke up, he found himself hanging in the air. One slight movement and he would be hanged to death. At this moment, the vicious man finally sensed the danger. Mary asked the man what he was afraid of. The man said he had nothing to fear. However, as the drug took effect, the man saw all the girls he had killed coming out of the woods. A girl in white clothes flew in front of him. The man was trembling and backing away. Then he missed his feet and died in the forest. Mary's teacher came around. They made it look like the man killed his friends and then commit suicide to reward Mary for completing her mission. The teacher took her to a gourmet dinner. This made Mary very happy. The movie is called Final Girl. Mary lost her parents when she was a child and was chosen by a mysterious figure. After years of rigorous training, she became an excellent killer. She follows her teacher to watch the bad guys in the dark and kills them whenever she gets the chance.